all day ride. Not a squat. No more low carb for me. Only one way to find out. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's get them going that way. I started to get the $40 Amazon ones. This stupid question, is it a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse? Oh yeah. Well, that's not exactly how I intended the video to go, but. Yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker. And you know I'm here to stay. Well, howdy folks, welcome back. It's uh, too pretty of a day in Central Texas not to go ride somewhere, so me and Jason are doing another impromptu ride to Lake Whitney to the end zone. End zone. End zone. The end zone of Lake Whitney, and then who knows where we go. But Jason finally got his other bag on. Nice supervising. Yeah. And then Tab Performance Bam Sticks with the zombie baffles. Let's hear it. I gotta do that, I guess. We do have a predicament. I've been told that, well, the BAM sticks don't come in gloss black. And they said the four and a half inch won't, the heat shield won't fit on my bike. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll fit. Yeah. I think we unclamp those and it'll open up and it'll fit yeah. the four and a half instead of the fours. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Yeah. What's the temperature? 76. 76 degrees. February 20 something. These Texas winters are brutal. Let's get them going that way. Yeah. the barbering biker says about her boyfriend's driveway. My driveway used to be like the Bolivian death road to me, but now, pretty low. Keep it loaded. <laughs> Man, what a pretty day. Got to put my gloves on. Always forget at least one thing. Yeah, I don't know if 
you need the hood or you're not, but. Yeah. How'd your wind deflectors do? They were good. I opened them up a little to figure out what the wind does. But I saw you messing with them, but yeah. they weren't moving. I was, I was paying attention. I mean, they don't. Yeah, they don't move at all. Those are the Harley ones? Yeah, they're the Harley ones. I started to get the $40 Amazon ones, but I was afraid they'd get loose, but these are tight. Yeah. Can you tell the difference? It yeah. looks like nothing's moving here. No. It, uh, the only thing, like I talked about those wind deflectors that come on the forks, Yeah. I think that would keep it from hitting my knees and shooting up my body. Yeah. But we'll see. All right, let's go in the end zone. Let's get in the end zone. <laughs> No more low carb for me. Oh yeah. Oh man. That old man. <laughs> it didn't seem like the place to have the camera on sitting at the bar, so I didn't record much, but we met a nice interesting couple or not couple or Whatever you call that, but don't make no damn sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say he's each to their own. about 30 years younger. Yeah, yes. At least. Yeah. All right, we're going to run over to a place, I believe it's called Shookies, right on the lake. Sitting at that bar didn't feel like the place to turn the camera on, but we met a nice, interesting uh, couple that's uh, together, not together. Been married 23 years and they're getting a divorce and having lunch, so that's cool. Chickies looks like a cool place. Nobody's here though. Friends, but I've just seen them on YouTube, but I've never actually heard them play live. Yeah. You, but I've been trying. You want to be on YouTube? Huh? You want to be on YouTube? I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. And Shookies on the Lake might be a destination spot for us. Oh, nope. absolutely. Um, we, in the summer, literally our uh, peak season will start like um, spring break, mm -hmm. and then we'll roll right into St. Patrick's Day, Easter, and then the eclipse. Yeah. We yeah. live out in the country off acreage and people are charging like $150. Yeah, to, it's a Crawford. Like we live in Crawford and they say that's right the middle of yep. where it's going. There's a guy across the lake that rented his, he's got a three bedroom house, just a normal regular house. He rented that out for $8,000. Oh, yeah. That yeah. week. We need to look into this. Yeah. But, is it a, this is a stupid question, is it a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse? Sun. Black sun. Black sun. sun. Yeah. Well, cheers. I, I, I didn't get the ride home because my GoPro said at that restaurant it went squirrely and like there's no footage from the ride today. Obviously there is because you're watching this video. So I'm fighting the urge to throw we the GoPro. We got home and I downloaded and it and it was all there. But this stupid GoPro, man, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I've heard some bad things about not being able to trust the fact that it's recording and it told me it wasn't recording, so I didn't record the ride home. It was only about 30 minutes, but uh, that's the reason. But me and Jason got back to the Bogeybacker Studios. Really great. 
Jason, what do you think of the, was it Shookies? Shookies? Is that what they're called? Shookies. Shookies? Shookies. Shookies on the lake or Shookies yeah, on the lake? It's at the Parsons yeah. Pub, but it's called Shookies. Pretty cool place. The lady was really friendly. Uh, yeah. She said they have live music. Uh, We're taking the bolts back there. Yeah, we need to go back there. Nice uh, overview of the lake. What are we drinking? A little of the devil's water. Slide it over here. Anybody ever heard of agave bourbon? I had not ever heard of agave bourbon. That is uh, like drinking sweet nectar of honey. <laughs> well, that's not exactly how I intended the video to go, but we adapt and overcome, right? pretty ride. Lake Whitney's a beautiful lake and that restaurant right on the water was a cool place. It hadn't been open that long. And I'm learning that the eclipse coming in April sometime. It sounds like Central Texas is going to be the best place in the world to watch it. I don't know. I don't I don't really watch the news anymore, but that's what I'm hearing. So maybe uh, if you're a subscriber to the Bogey Biker channel, we'll have a free place to watch the eclipse out here at Twin Creeks Ranch. Let me know if you're interested. <laughs> but I appreciate all the support on the, the diet. You could all probably tell I wasn't feeling too good. But I'm figuring it out. It's been another fairly crappy week, un totally unrelated to that. Doesn't really have anything to do with me, but just want to want to help if I can, and don't really know how to. I appreciate you watching. Lots of fun stuff ahead. See you next time. Yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker, and you know I'm here to stay.